What's up, you guys? You're watching the Sean the Cliff channel. Today, we are checking out my latest haul from the Central Florida Diecast Show that is held in Orlando, Florida. I go there once a month. It's held on the third Sunday of every month, and there's just awesome stuff. It's a show that you guys do not want to miss out on, I swear. I got a good haul here, so I want to go over it and show you guys everything that I got. First up, I really want to show you guys this awesome C1 Corvette. This was made by a subscriber. He gifted this to me. And I was just mind blown. Look at that rustic barn find uh, customization. It looks so cool. Uh, I am absolutely flattered to have this. Thank you for uh, giving this to me. And check out that mirror uh, windshield. It's so cool. All the little details. This is just absolutely awesome. I love it. Very cool. Uh, and that's the first thing I want to show you guys. We're going to check out the loose cards first. And I'll show you guys all the card stuff I got. Check out this loose super. We got the Audi R8. Check out those five spoke chrome wheels. And this was back in 2021, part of the MKs. I love having all my super treasure hunts loose. So I'm glad to have this in my collection. All right, let's go ahead and move on to, what should we show next? We got this awesome drag strip demons. This is going to be the 63 Chevy Nova. Check out how cool that looks. I love the Wilshire shaker on the side. I love the white interior with the white on top with that two-tone look. It looks freaking sweet. It says it's a 502 on the front there. This is an awesome looking gasser. And I'm working on getting all the original drag strip demons loose. That's going to be tough, but I'm trying my best. All right. Glad to have that one part of the loose selection. Let's go ahead and check out the RLC. Chevy Nova, is that right? Yes, this is the Chevy Supernova, sorry. Check out the awesome details on that engine. This thing is sweet. I'm really working on getting all the pink party cars. I want to get all the pink cars in the collection. I want to have them loose. I'm glad I found this one. I don't have this one loose. And that pink Spectre Flame paint just looks wow. All right, let's go ahead and check out what's next. We have another RLC that I picked up loose. Trying to have them all loose, and I'm very happy to have this one loose. It's got an awesome front hood that opens up. And also, too, I have this one that I uh, got last year for the uh, Christmas one. So I wanted to have this one loose. And I actually made an order for this one on Mattel Creation when it came out, but they canceled my order because it was out of stock. So I'm happy to have it loose. All right, let's go ahead and check out what's next. Up next, we got this c4 corvette this is matchbox an old one too and i'm glad to find this one too because i have this variation with those awesome wheels on it now it does have different uh livery on it and one thing i was curious too is it looks like a sticker in the front there but the person that i bought it from said that's authentic that's the way it came so i'm just going to take his word for it but yeah this thing looks sweet it says usa i on the side of it and this was made in 1983 I wonder if there's any other variation with this C4 Corvette other than those different type of wheels. Those wheels look totally different than what Matchbox is doing nowadays. All right, let's go ahead and put this to the side. Let's go ahead and check out what's next. We got a bag right up here in the front. This is an old Toyota Supra, and this was made by uh, Hot Wheels. It's uh, 82 Supra. I figured I would pick this up because I'm going to be opening Super from this year. Or sorry, 2023. That's now last year uh, with the headlights up. And that one's just sweet. And I wanted to have the original one from 82. That's really cool. They uh, made the Super back then. There wasn't much JDM back in the day for Hot Wheels. Everyone was into the muscle cars, but everyone's now into JDM. So let's go ahead and park up this 82 Supra. Let's check out what's next. I think you guys will like this one. We got an R... 32 right is that an r32 r33 sorry uh in red that is just looks spectacular love that red paint on it it's got like kind of a, a flake to it it looks nice it has taillights and it doesn't have headlight details but that's no problem here i'm working on getting all the gtrs and r34s and r32s i want to get them all loose so i'm very happy to find this one i found it for like i think it was a dollar so how could you say no to that right all right, let's go ahead and park it up to the side. Let's go ahead and check out what's next. The 83 Vet, and this thing looks so clean, and that's why I picked it up, because I do have this one loose already, 
but just look at it. It's just all beat up. The paint's missing on the front there. Um, you know, the glass is all orange and nasty looking. So I found one to replace it that's just in great condition. So I'm very happy to find that. Let's go ahead and park it to the side. Let's go ahead and check out what's next. We got another C4 Corvette because, you know, I open all the C4 Corvettes and I have them to have them loose. And I always buy them when I find them. All right, we got another awesome Matchbox 88 on the side of it. And uh, there's a couple of different variations with this one. Uh, I do have the other one where it's red and it's got a yellow interior. Looks spectacular. It's got an open hood too. It's the same exact casting. Um, sorry, my dog barking. And it's got a brown luggage on the back there. And this one's got like kind of a, what do you call that? Gray or brown. And then this one's got a gray luggage back there. So... And I got it in black. This looks spectacular. So I had to pick it up in blue. I'm very happy to find this one. So let's go ahead and park it to the side. And let's see what's next. The last loose car that we got to showcase. And then we'll get on to the carted stuff. All right. Look at this beauty in perfect condition. And we just seen this in purple uh, part of our, uh, what was it, B case. So I'm very happy to have this. This is the 82 Nissan Skyline R30. Looks very clean. I love the gold trim on the wheels, the black interior. And I'm like I said, I'm trying to get all the Skylines and GTRs loose. So very happy to find this one. All right, let's go ahead and park up that R30 to the side. Let's go ahead and move on. Subscriber gave this to me. I'm very happy to have it because I, w I haven't found this mainline one here at a show. And I do have the super of it. So I was very happy to get it. And I don't have the orange uh, C4 Corvette. So... Very happy to have that. Thank you. Let's go ahead and park it to the side. Let's check out what's next. I got this in on a trade. I do have this one loose. This is the 1995. Actually, I have it loose right here. Spectacular. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I actually got a chance to see this before it was released. And uh, I was super stoked to see it come out. All right. Let's go ahead and park it to the side. I got that on a trade. Up next, we got the Super Treasure Hunt. This is the first Super Treasure Hunt that I've ever found. Not this exact one. I got this one at the show. But yeah, so I've, I've got another one. So now I'm going to crack this one too. I'm trying to get all the 2022 Supers so I can crack them as well. But yeah, I'm very happy to have this. Shout out to Tundy Hunter for doing a trade with me so I can get that. And here's another one from Tundy Hunter as well. This is going to be the, what was it? The Q case? Uh, the last case of, yep, the Q case. Uh, of 2022 is the last super i never had a chance to find it so shout out to tundy hunter for coming by and doing some trades with me i'm so happy to have this in my collection all right let's go ahead and check out what's next the two pack skyline uh nissan skyline gtr r32 and then we have the r34 i do not have this one loose i do have this set but um i needed an another one to open up so i'm gonna crack this soon i'm gonna do an opening with some two pack because i did buy another two pack right there so i'm gonna do a big two pack opening i love the artwork on this and uh what else is part of this set oh that awesome mustang and then the uh super bird super cool let's go ahead and park that to the side let's check out what's next also, I got this two-pack right here, another Nissan uh, two-pack. It's the Nissan Z Proto, and then we got the Nissan Fairlady Z. I love the chrome wheels on this one, and I love the brown against that yellow. I love when they do those brown wheels. It looks so cool, and uh, like the artwork as well. That looks spectacular. I'm going to do a big two-pack opening, like I said, so very happy to have that. And finally, something I need to crack open. I have all the four runners loose except for this one. So I had to pick this one up. I did a trade with it uh, with the guy there that was a vendor. And I'm very happy to have it. This is number 36 part of the Boulevard. Uh, what else was in that set? Oh, I do have that one. I don't have the Honda. Don't have that one. Don't have that one. So I really need to catch up with Boulevard. So very happy to have this one. This one's going for about 30 to 40 bucks. So it's not easy to find and it's not easy to get. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this haul video. And uh, I'm going to be doing a show on whatnot here soon. I've been getting a lot of questions on, hey, when, when's the next show? When's the next show? Um, I would say in about two weeks, I'm going to be doing a show. I have to get some boxes and uh, go through the collection, find some stuff I need to get rid of, and uh, do a show with you guys. So uh, look forward to that. If you want a free $15 to spend on whatever I'm selling or anybody else to sell anything, use my link below. It'll be in the description. 
Also too, the beautiful display that I have right here, if you are interested in getting it, I did a video on how to install it. I did an unboxing video of it. I checked it out. It's phenomenal. I absolutely love this display. This is the Mascar uh, Ultima display. So go ahead and check it out. There's a, it's a link in my description so you guys can check that out. It's a great display. I highly recommend it. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe.